and change that is our God because everything everything is working now for my good let us sing that again dependable dependable he brought you through this week he is a dependable God he provides for you oh you are an intentional God intentional intentional do you mean that uh, sing everything everything is come on sing that to yourself you are good you are good oh you are good we sing Jesus oh you are good you are sing Sing for my good, for my good. Hallelujah, it's for my good. Jesus is for my good. Jesus, you are for my good. You are for my good. Oh, for my good. Jesus, Jesus, for my good. Let us sing it from the top, dependable, dependable. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what comes. Hallelujah. Oh, we sing intentional. Hallelujah. We sing everything. Everything is working out for my. Oh, dependable. You are a dependable God Doesn't matter what comes my way You are an intentional Intentional God Intentional We see everything Everything is working We can do that one more time Dependable 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. It doesn't matter. Lord, we mean that you are still God. You are an intentional. Intentional God. Oh, we say everything. Everything is working out for my. And let us take it up. You are, you are good. You are good. You are good. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. You are good. You are. Say you are good. And you are good. Oh, you are good. Jesus, Jesus. One more time. Say you are good. You are good. Jesus. Jesus. You are good. You are great and your mercies endure. You are good. Come on, lift your hand and sing. You are good. You are. You are good, Jesus. Come on, all over this house, let us lift our hands and worship God because He is good and His mercies endure it forever. You are good. You are good. You are good. Jesus. One more time, you are good. You are. Sing for my good. For my Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You are for my good. Sing for my good. For my good. Jesus. G for my good. Hallelujah. And we sing this song. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one, and no one can worship you for 
for me. Come on, sing that like you mean it this evening. I know one. For all the things you've done for me. And no one, and no one can worship you for me. Come on, let's join and sing, you Lord, you Lord, you, you are worthy. Yes, and no one, and no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done, Lord, you are good. Lord, oh Jesus, and no one can worship you, and no one can worship you for me. Here is my worship, here is my worship, all of my, all of my worship, receive, receive my worship, all of my Father, here is my worship. Sing all of my worship. Father, receive my worship. Sing all of my. Let me just take this last bite. And I will. And I will not be silent. I come on, let's declare that over our life today. Worship as long as I am breathing, as long as I am breathing, I will always, I will always worship you, Jesus. And I will not be silent, and I will not be silent, Lord. I will always worship you, Jesus. I will always worship you. And as as long as I am breathing, I, oh, I will always, I will always worship you. See, here is my worship. Here is my worship. Oh, Father, receive my worship. Sing all of my Here is my worship, Jesus. All of my worship. Worship. All of my worship. Come, let's hear the voice. Here is here is my all of my, all of my worship. Come on, sing to your father. Receive my worship. Sing all of my Father, receive our worship. Here is my worship. Sing all of my worship. Father, receive, receive my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Come on, let's just raise a sound inside of him. Father, we worship you, Jesus. We glorify your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just worship the Lord. Let's just give him some praise in his house. He is worthy of all praise. Thank receive Father, our worship, worship tonight, you, Lord. Jesus. Father, we receive our worship in this place, Lord. You are we glorify worthy, your Jesus. holy name, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. God. Lord, you alone are worthy Hallelujah, to receive the glory Jesus. and the honor, oh God. You alone are worthy, Lord. Name, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's all put our hands together for the woman of God who will be bringing the word tonight, Prophet Hassan. Hallelujah. Good, ev Good evening, brothers and sisters. Before you sit, um, one of, I want to share what God put in my heart. And I will tell you the topic in a bit, what I'm sharing. 
But before we sit, I want you to think of several areas in your life that you want God to turn it around for you. I'm, give, I'm giving you three minutes and begin to think of what you want, how you want God to turn it around for you. Begin to think about it. Ah, we lift it up. Go ahead, he ka shake our yellow lama soon to la he ka padele. Aye menolo ye ke shaka yella lama santa la ye menolo. Atale ye ke shoko yella lama santa la ye ke be shun to la yenda la la. Ah, yella lama santa la ye ke shanta la ye ke peto. Ah, yella lama santa la he is able to turn it around. He is able to, whatever your need is, he is able to turn it around. Ah, ye betola he ka shanta la he ke shunto la he. In the name of Jesus, amen. You may have your seat. This evening, I would like to share, God is turning it around. God is able to give to each one of us a divine turnaround. That's why I ask you, think about what you want God to turn around in your life. What does it mean to turn? To turn means to move, to change from one position to another. What does it mean around? Means all side. God will move you to the next level on every side. The word divine means something supernatural. God is about to give each of us a divine turnaround. Do you believe that God is, can give each one of us a divine turnaround? Amen. He is about to give each one of us a divine turnaround. This means God will move or cause us to change on all three sides. sides. God will reverse the irreversible concerning us. That which we have lost and we think is gone, God will, will bring it back. Sometimes, some things that you may think that you have lost, God can bring it back and he will bring it back. When God turns towards us, it is our turn. Our story will change from good to better, from better to best. God wants to turn dead situations back to life. That's why I ask to think about situation, think about what you want to turn around in your life. Do you believe that God is able to bring dead situation to life? Despite what um, society see. Hello, if God can raise the dead, there's nothing in your life that God cannot turn around. He can bring life. And I, I am a testi testimony of it. As a child, I was dead until my mouth was closed. You know, that's the last thing that locked. And my grandmother came, and she, my, my mother said, my grandmother came and opened my mouth. She will force my mouth open and pour some either water or squeeze some orange juice. And if God can bring it back, God can bring back anything in your life. Yeah. Relationship. Whatever disease in your body and the doctor have given you a negative report, God can bring it back. We have seen healing in this ministry. I have seen healing overseas. And if God has done it to one, he can do it for all. Amen? So let's look at Ezekiel 37, 11. So God can turn that situation back to life. So I, I want you even... As we share, think about, and that's why I ask you, think about the situation you want to turn around, right? It may be 10, it may be 20, it may be 100. I don't know the, the number. But if you believe, the word of God said, if you believe, he didn't ask for everybody here to believe. And I've, whole, I've held that even when I lived away. And I have held it, and God, when God said, if two, so that if two persons sit down and agree, but God can, can answer. He will answer that prayer. So let's read together. Then he said unto me, Son of man, 
These bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off. Hello. How many of you feel sometimes the situation that you're going through is hopeless? How many of you? And I know, uh, let's be honest. And um, we can share, hello, I am, we can share. Sometimes situations are standing before you. And, and you bruise your knee, you praise God, um, you talk to a pastor, but the situation is still there. And sometimes we, like Ezekiel, we feel that we are cut off from our parts. So I am praying, let's say I'm praying for um, my brother. I have five brothers. And, you, and, we, and my mother used to pray. Yes, she was Christian. I continued to pray when I came back. But you feel that, yes, more than 20 something years you're praying for them. But they're still doing the same thing. Right? And that is why when Ezekiel said, we are cut off from our past. We feel that we are cut off. But I want to declare, I want to decree and declare any disorder that you are currently experiencing in your life, God has brought divine order in the name of Jesus. So whatever disorder, whatever you are experiencing, God has brought divine order. But you know why, why sometimes, and I know I'm talking from my own experience, you know sometimes, we don't believe the word of God. We mouth the word of God. Right? We mouth it. So if a person come and anybody or any one of the leaders or any member and we say God is, uh, I like money, God is going to release 20,000 in your hand. What are some of your response would be? Huh? You receive it, but when you say you receive it, um, what happened, let's say we in August, November, December, come. What happens? Right, yes, you start looking for it, you get discouraged, because yes, you receive it, but God never said that he, when he was going to bring it. Eh? So let's say you receive it, but, um, Jaren May going and buy a new car. He put his, uh, you know, his head towards a new car. So God, he received 100,000. A car, you know, could get a car for 100,000. So he received the 100,000, right? So, as I said, August, September, his car started to give trouble. We and the enemy is, uh, is on our feet. The car started to give trouble. Uh, but Lord, uh, you said uh, the 100,000 come in. What happened? Let's be honest. Hello, I'm going to share, but I want us to talk. This is, this is part of who I am. What are we doing? And it has happened to me several times. You know, a person declare, somebody else, Pastor Vashi declare, and I receive it. But when the, the reality hit you, are we still believing that what God has said in his word that he is able to fulfill it. And let me tell you something is very difficult if you have situation. Yes, you believe, you say you believe, but are you walking in that belief? So despite what is happening in the atmosphere, despite what is happening with you, do you hold on to the word of God? And I am being honest many times, yes, I, I look at the situation instead of relying on the word of God. Right? I'm looking at what is in front of me, not what is in the Word. So yes, I will pick up my Bible and declare all my needs are met in Christ Jesus. But when I go to the kitchen and I see it have no milk, and I use almond milk, so it have no milk, are my needs being met? And yes, my needs are being met because I don't have to put milk in, in the smoothie. I don't have to put milk. Yes, yeah, so my needs, so he provided other stuff, but he is so you, I am so used to putting in the, the almond milk. But God has provided. He may not, may not have pro be, um, provided the way I want, but he has provided. 
So we, God can turn bad news to good news. God can turn bad news to good news. And I have seen it in my life. I've seen it in other, other person's life. He can turn bad news to good news. So let us, let us look at 2 Kings 20, 1 to 5. And you know the scripture. Let's read together. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, son of Oz, came to him and said unto him, Thou said the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. God is saying to someone here, he's not talking about death. And some of you may have to give up some stuff, but God is saying to some of you here, about five of you, set your house in order. I don't know what it means to you, but God is saying to five of you, set your house in order. And your house can be a body. Yeah? Your house can be the physical house. So God is saying to five of you, set your house in order. Let's read um, verse 2. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech ye, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept. How many of us have said, Lord, I did everything, ask me. Everything, like he Hezekiah is saying, I did good. You tell me to, to empty my bank account, I empty it. You tell me to feed the poor, I have done it. Right? I have done everything uh, good in, in your sight. And some of us do weep. Whether we want others to know, many times we go in our bed. And you know, if you have pillows like mine, you could cry, and nobody in the next room can hear you because you put your head on that pillow. And yes, you may not bawl, but you're bawling from here, right? And Hezekiah wept. Let's read verse four. Came to pass, a sure Isaiah was out in the middle court that the word of the Lord came to him saying, turn again, tell the captain of my people, Thus says the Lord God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day, thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. And this is what God is saying to each one of us. As I said, you know, sometimes we cry, I have seen your tears. Many of us here, whether male or female, female we have been crying. And I have brothers, I have no sisters. So I know when male cry, eh? all my brothers told like Jeremy, I'm the shortest of my mother, um, children. And they will cry. And they will say, and get out of here. Um, if I catch them, right? And all of us have been crying. But hear what God is saying to each one of you. I have seen your tears. I have seen your tears. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal thee. God has already healed us, right? Because this is Old Testament. Because the word of God said, by his stripes, we are healed. So yes, the Old, the Old Testament says, I will heal thee. But God has already healed us. So those of us who have back pain, God has healed you. And you might ask, why is not manifesting? The professional with me, I will look at your diet. I will look at what, what, what is happening at home. Because back pain for us not, does not only represent back pain. It represents a lot of emotional stuff. I'm not going there today. So that is why I will look at it. But know that God has healed you. And sometimes God may not allow the, the miracle because he wants you to look at other areas why your, why your back is hurting me. 
hurting you. A simple thing can be a mattress. I don't know if anybody have experienced that. Right? A simple thing can be a mattress. Right? And God is saying he has healed us by his stripe. He took the, when he went um, through Calvary on the cross, when he was whipped, he took all, all, all your disease, all my diseases, he took it. Why we are not seeing manifestation, we need to examine ourselves. We need to look within what is happening. Because I can declare, um, Deacon Ellis, by Jesus' stripe, you are healed. And he might say, I know what you're talking about. I, my back hurt in me, my, my feet hurt in me, and I'm not declaring that over you. Right? I just am um, using an example. She and, she's saying you're healed, but I still have the pain. And even though you have the pain, God says you have to walk in that boldness. You have to walk in that word that says it. Many of the times we, we mouth the word, but we do not obey the word or believe the word. Right? God has heard our cry and God has healed our body. So anybody here, I know there are a few persons who are, are having discomfort in your body. God has already healed your body. He has already healed your body. He has restored your body. There's restoration that has begun in your body. He who is faithful, what he will do, he will complete it. So sometimes healing does not have to come like some, you know, like the lepers, they were healed. But if you know the story, what they went through. But when God said, by his stripe, you are healed. Know that every stripe he took on the cross, it was, it was for our healing. So you are already healed. And you need to believe that you are healed. God can turn weeping to joy. God can turn our weeping to joy. Let's look at Psalm 35. Let's read together. For his anger endureth, but for a moment in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So there may be weeping in the night. As I, was, it, do, I said a few minutes, sometimes we, you know, we go in our bed and we cry. But we have to recognize that joy cometh in the morning. I decree and declare, those who have been crying at nights receive the joy of the Lord. Those who have been crying at nights receive the joy of the Lord. My, as I was saying with my brothers, one of the, the hiding place was our toilet. One of the hiding place was our toilet. So my brothers and they, and you would hear them um, crying. But I just decree and declare, do not hide your tears because God is able to wipe away your tears. Let's look at Luke 7, 11, 16. Let's read together. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nim, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. And then, and when he came, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said, Weep not. God is saying to a few of you, Weep not. God is saying, Weep not. He has ha he had have 
and had compassion in each one of you. Let's read um, 14. And he came and touched Abraham, and they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Uh, and he dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, that a great prop is risen up now, that God has visited his people. I want to decree and declare that God has visited each one of us to this, this evening. Whatever, that's why I asked that when you came, whatever you need a turning around, know that God has visited each one of us this evening. And as we share, I want the, what you, the turn around that you want in your life. I want you to believe that God has already answered your prayer. Believe that. It, hello, whether when you go home and the house is still standing, it still need painting, and you pray, you, you prayed for that, you know, that your house will be painted before the end of the year. You know how we in the West Indies like to celebrate Christmas, right? But believe, even though you see in your house, believe, see in your eyes, see in your in your mind's eye, the color your house that you want your house um, painted. See a step. See it, if you want a tile. See it. Right, and, and one of the things that the professional in us, what we tell person, get a picture of the house, the paint, how you want it painted. Put it, not to put it in your bedroom, put it in your bathroom. And every time you go in that bathroom, my, this is my house that has been painted. It is not going to be painted. It has been painted. Right? Begin to de there was a little thing when we do the counseling, we just, we just give um, clients to do. Begin to declare what you want, what you want to see. So even though you're seeing what, is, what it is now, believe what, you, what God has already spoken to you. Believe what God has already spoken. What we, we hear the word. We may mouth it, we may pray it, we may open the Bible. But after a week, I know about you, but it has happened to me on several occasions. After a week, it didn't happen, what I, what I prayed for. And sometimes I may not go back to the word. Um, maybe after two weeks, yes, Lord, forgive me. But I may not go back to it. But God is, wants us to be consistent when we pray. You know, we, sometimes we are not consistent. I'm talking about me. Sometimes we are not consistent. So we, we say, oh, Lord, and there are a few persons here who will be married next year. And even though the, the person not in your life right now, but God is releasing husbands and, and wives. I know it only have a few. He's married. He's married. Uh, I see. Uh, <laughs> no, we're talking about male. Oh, Savior. Yes, say we have Savior and we have our brother in the back there. But God is releasing our, husband, our, our husbands and our wives. But do you believe? Do you really believe? Right? Uh, so I want to look at a few keys to divine turnaround. Let's look at Psalm 126, 1 to 5. I, yes, okay. Let's read of degrees. When the Lord turned again the captive Dion, we were like them in a dream. Then our mouth filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Then said, they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. 
God is filling, filling each one of our mouth with laughter. He is filling our tongue with singing. We decree and declare the Lord has done great things for us. Do you believe that God has done great things for you? What is, if I ask one person to stand on and say, what, a, what, a, what is a, a one great thing that God has done in your life? One good thing. Yes, we say, and you say, yes, you, you answer yes, eh? that God has done great things. I'm just asking for one person. What is the great thing God has done in your life? One person. Mm -hmm. Thank God. So let's give our sister. We thank God that God has he heard her and he has turned her captivity as streams. That so that she so in tears she has reaped joy because she was able to let it go. And the reason I'm asking, uh, I, this is how I am um, thinking, the reason I'm asking, we, those of us who have never experienced a turnaround, sometimes we need to hear from another person. That's hence the reason fasting to share. Somebody that is sitting in the, in the congregation, somebody that you know, right? And God wants to turn a wrong situation in your life. Right? And you have to believe that. If you don't believe, I, I don't care how hard that situation, I don't care how bad that situation you're experiencing right now, but God is able to turn it around. Amen? So let's look at, I'm not, I'm not going to share the whole of the scripture. Um, Exodus 14, 1 to 31, the crossing of the Red Sea. Because many of us know what happened at the Red Sea. Right? They were about to perish or be captured, but God gave them a turnaround. Those of you who know the word, what is the turnaround that happened at, at the crossing of the Red Sea? Give me one example. One thing you remembered in scripture. What was the turnaround? You know the, you know the, the story, right? When they were crossing the Red Sea. What, ha what is the one thing that you remembered? Some of us have done, um, uh, the enemy was killed, yeah, but. <laughs> what was it turn around? Because think about the, the cross in the Red Sea. What were some of the things you remembered? Thank you, Deacon. What happened and they were able to pass through. Was any one of them, when they was going through the Red Sea, was any one of them killed? Anyone injured? Any sickness? But they went through. And the reason I'm asking this is, when you're going through stuff, if you see in doubt and sickness and whatever, the, if you're going through your Red Sea, it's going to be very hard. Right? And, and yes, your circumstances, people wrong you, Maybe even like if you live at home and, and you might say, mommy or your husband, darling, you know, we, this is a time that we're going through. They can doubt the word of God and make you discouraged. But one of the things I want to decree and declare over you, that when you are going through your Red Sea, and brothers and sisters, we are going to go through our Red, Red Sea. Some of you have already gone through Red Sea experience. But I want you, when you're going through, even though it's happening now, it, it has happened in the past, it may happen in the future, I want you to keep your focus on God. I'm not saying that life is going to be evil, e um, easy, right? It's, it will not be easy because sometimes God wants to, to toughen us up and he'll love situation in our lives. Right? If I ask everybody to stand and, and share with me what are some of the difficulties that you have faced in your life, every one of us will stand and say, this is what happened to me. But did God leave you at the, ba at the bank? He took you through. He took you through. And whatever situation you're going through, God is able to take you through. 
So we want to look at some of the keys to divine turnaround. Let's look at Psalm 126, 1 to 5. We have read that already. Um, so, yeah, okay. I decree and declare anyone under the sound of my voice who desire a sudden intervention receive a turnaround now in Jesus' name. So if you really, uh, what I want you to stand, what I want you to do is stand. You, I ask you to think about some of the things that you want to turn around in your life. So as I declare and decree, anyone that, at the sound of my voice who desire a sudden intervention, receive a turn around in Jesus' name. What I want you to do, what you have lift up before God that you want to see a turn around, I want you to open your hands. Open your hands. Whatever you have prayed for the, um, that turn around, I want you to open your hands. And, do, and don't close your eyes. Open your hands and see a sudden divine in, intervention. See it, whatever it may be. It may be finance, it may be a children, whatever it was that you, you presented to God. I want you to see it in your hand. I want you to see it, begin to see it in your hand. Whatever it, it, it may be, I want you to begin to see it. Receive it, receive that sudden intervention. Receive a turnaround in Jesus' name. Begin to see it. Begin to see it manifest in your hand. Begin to see a sudden intervention. I don't know what you prayed for. I don't know what you brought before God. But I want you to see a sudden intervention. Receive a turnaround in Jesus' name. 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 Receive it. God is saying some of you are doubting. Receive. God is not a God of the impossible. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. There's nothing too big that God cannot pour in your hand. There's nothing too big that God cannot give you. There's no intervention that God cannot place in your hand. Receive it, my sisters. Receive it, my brothers. In the name of Jesus, amen. You, you may have your seat. You'll be getting a lot of exercise um, this evening, no? Let's look at 1 Samuel 2, 1. Let's, let's read it together. And Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoiced in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. So I want you to stand. And we are going to spend, hello, you get an exercise today. Who, did, who didn't walk and who drove and whatever, you're going to get a lot of exercise. And we are going to spend, just as Hannah rejoiced, rejoiced in the Lord, I want us to rejoice. I want us to praise God. God has already given you that turn around. Begin to rejoice. Lift up your voices and begin to pray. Lift up your voices. He has given it to you. Receive it. Believe that is in your hand. Receive it. Receive it. Rejoice. Rejoice, my sisters. Rejoice, my brothers. Receive it. Receive it. It is in your hands. It is in your hands. It is in your hands. Receive it, receive it. Akashin talahib. Ekepeshon talahib. Receive it, receive it. Atalayekepeshon talahib menolo. Receive it, ekeshon talayekeshon talahib. Receive it, receive it. Akashin talayekepetolahib. Ah, we praise your name. We thank you. You may have your seat.
I am not going to ask you to read. Um, the scripture is a bit long, but this is about Peter and his friends. What do you know, what do you remember? What Peter did for his friends? Peter, huh? He, Peter, then his name was turned to Simon. What Peter did? Can't remember what Peter did. Simon, well, he, his name changed. Remember, this is about the story of they went, they, they had two ships and, they, and were standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and they were washing their nets. You remember that? It's just I, I don't want to read the whole thing. Let, let, let's read from verse 5, 5 to 10. Oh, sorry. Luke 5, and we're re reading from 5 to 10 because most of us know this story. Let's read together. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Hello, what net you, yes, we have prayed. Some of us have situation, we prayed for 10 years, 20 years, and it's still there. But God is saying, he wants you to let down your net. What your net could be, you know, you might take a week to pray and fast. That could be letting down your net. Your net could be just given to others. God might say to um, De Canellis, empty your um, pocket or your wallet. You know, De can can say, oh Lord, Lord, you know, I just get married like what they, they said, okay, right? But God is asking us to launch, launch out in the deep. And the deep can be our heart. The deep can be um, our prayer life, launch out in the deep. Let's, let's continue. Number verse six. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. God is going to, you are going to get a lot more that you have prayed for, right? And just as the net broke, your net is going to break. And your net can represent, when the net break, huh? think about those of us who have been a wrong fisherman. And when they're pulling a team, what happened? So, yeah, ever see one, uh, hello, I live in Central, eh? so we just go down, um, oh, no, down Waterloo for fish. And when they're pulling a team, Sometimes the net will tear, depending if they have, you see rainy season now, um, you get a lot more fish than in the dry season. Let's look at um, seven. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships, so they began to sink. Are you experiencing, because of what you have done, what you have given, um, for example, you are a blessed person and you feel that you are sinking, they bad talk you, they say all kind of thing about you. That is a, sink, that is a sinker because if you have given to a person, you have helped person, you have brought them in your house, sometimes you give them half of your salary, uh, and, but they bad talk you. That can be an experience of a sinking ship or sink, sink, sink in terms of burden in your heart. Let's read um, verse eight. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knee, saying, depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. How many of us have said, Lord, I promise I wouldn't do that? We may not say what like like um, Simon Peter, Peter. 
Lord, forgive me. God, Lord, I'm tired with this. Right? And let's read um, verse 9. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken with ten, so was also James and John, the son of Zedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And God is saying that to you, to each one of us. Fear not, from henceforth your desires will be fulfilled. Fear not what is the circumstances or what is happening around you that know that I've already heard and answered your prayer. Simon and they were professional fishermen. They knew when to fish, and morning time was not the best time to fish. Evening Trinidad, morning time, most time when we go Cali Bay and thing, morning time is when they, they set out the, the fish. They normally go in the night, some of them they go 11 o'clock, some of them 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock they're fishing. So we know even the reality, even though scripture says, even in Trinidad and in the Caribbean, most time fishermen will go in the wee hours of, of the morning. Right? But they were astonished, and God wants to astonish each one of us. He wants to astonish you. Divine turnaround defies science. So the scientist might say, or the medical doctor might say that you have an illness in your body. But what does the word of God say? So what, huh? You are healed by his stripe, you are healed. So wh when you go to the doctor, when you go to the doctor, whose report are you going to believe? The re report of the Lord. So you have to be believe the report of the Lord. So what, yes, the doctors might say this and that is happening in your body. You're not going to stand and say, like I know a man of God did it. My Jesus heal me. I don't have that. You're not going to do that like the man of God. But you, you're just going to quietly thank him. But you are going, when you're walking out of that office, I'm just using a medical um, situation, could be anything. When you're walking out of that office, you have, de have to declare whatever the do doctor said, I am healed. Don't believe. One of the things, and I know this um, personally, one of the things, we accept what the doctor says. We go to the doctor, but we accept. So the doctor, we accept what they say. Instead of, as I said, don't argue what the doctor says, but declare the word of the Lord. Come home. Come home. Take off your shoes. Begin to praise God. Begin to exalt him. Begin to declare what the word of God says. Begin to declare what the word, not what medi the medical person. Even though, for example, when we, I was working, and when COVID came, I was working in prison, so nobody else couldn't go in the prison. They had several cases and nobody. And most of the money that I had saved went into something else. And I began to declare, my bread basket is full. My bread baskets are full. Lord, your word said, by, by, you said all my needs are met. All my needs are met. And I began to walk through the house. All my needs are met. Sometimes I pull the, the cupboard. And I, uh, it has flour. I'm not supposed to eat flour. But I will make roti. If you come in my fridge, you'll see it have um, what we call... Pastor Vashi helped me. Huh? The, the, yeah, yeah. Of um, bus of shot. I'm not supposed to eat flour. Right? But the word of God, declare the word of God, brothers and sisters. Declare what the word says. I know it ain't easy. If you have children, and, you, and your children, especially um, those under 12, and you have nothing to give them, 
My mother used to go in the back where I come from the country. There was always badgy in the yard. And there was always badgy. I ain't know about Pastor Badgy, but in our yard, Lord, there was always badgy. So she will cook the badgy, and there was always rice. And, she, and Tony and Emily say, Mommy, I ain't want a badgy. Mommy used to say, What? If you want it, lie down. <laughs> lie down, next it, right? But the, the, what I'm saying, begin to declare, if you want to turn around in your life, you cannot listen to what the world is saying. And that is what is hamper, hampering us from moving forward. You know, we hear, yes, we hear a lot of stuff, but most of us, if you, um, how many of you spend more than five hours on, on, um, on your cell phone? Do you know that, first of all, the cell phone, the, the rays, causes cancer? They have proven that. You can go on the net and see it. You're not supposed to keep your cell phone in your bedroom, right? With our bedroom, hello, and I found out that recently. I knew it, but I, I, pack it, I put it away. So, what, so even though we have to discipline ourselves, instead of fi spending five hours, Give God free. Begin to bruise your knees. God is saying to each one of us, this month, there is going to be a net breaking turn around in your life. There, this month, there is going to be a net breaking turn around in, in your life. Receive a net breaking turn around. Receive a net breaking turn around in your life. Receive a net breaking turn around in your life. One of the things God is asking us to totally trust Him. To trust Him. Let's look at Mark 9:23. And the scripture all of us know. Let's read together. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Do you believe all things are possible? Amen. Hello, you can tell me amen, but do you really believe all things? Some of you have situation. It's, uh, uh, do you believe that God can change that situation? Do you believe whatever you're going through? I don't know what is happening with you. I don't know what is happening at your home. But do you really believe that when you walk out of the door, when you walk, drive out of the, the car park, that that situation that you are going to face physically, it is not in the spiritual realm. It may be there in the physical realm. But do you believe that you are going to Declare the word, whatever situation. I don't know what is happening in your home. But you have to declare it. If you, if like me, and some of my windows are open, but when I open them, my mouth, I make a lot of noise. Even, even the making of noise is not for the neighbor. The making of the noise is for me. The making, and sometimes I would put on tapes. And to hear... Yes, sometimes I'll be crying. I'm not going to be lying, and you sometimes will be crying. But, and sometimes my voice may go hoarse. And I may, ha I may put on the, the tape, whatever it is, or put on um, YouTube, and begin to declare what God says, because what I'm seeing in front of me, that is not what God says in his word. And you have to believe that, brothers and sisters. Begin to declare what God says. Despite what you see, begin to declare the word of God. God is asking us to have faith that is only he can turn around our situation. Hello, man cannot turn it around. God can turn it around. So brothers and sisters, we want to pray for a few minutes. Let's look at Mark 10, 47 to 48. Let's read together. 
And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And 48, and many, and charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal, thou son of David, have mercy on me. How many of us have cried out, Jesus, have mercy on me. I have used it. And sometime, when, my, when I lived with my mom, and I'm praying too loud, she would say, shut up. Right? But I wait until she drop asleep. Right? And begin to cry out. And, and God, if you, if you feel that it's not working, the, all, all um, they did. And you can say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Right? He will hear and answer you. Let's read 1 Samuel 1 9. Let me see if it's that. I have several scripture, right? Um, let's read it. Han so Hannah rose up, uh, Ethan. Eli, the priest, sat upon a seat by the post of the temple of the Lord. Did Hannah stay where she was? She rose up. And God is saying for many of us, we need to rise up. Despite the situation, despite the circumstances, the big, despite what you are seeing, God is saying, let us not cry in our pillow, but he is saying to rise up and begin to praise him and thank him. So I want us to pray. I have a, um, some prayer points. So I want you to stand. I don't know, when, I, when you came in, I asked you to, I have a lot more um, words, but I want us to really pray. So you are going to come away from prisons, so that two persons remain in a seat and if you feel like walking around, remember, this is a, God is saying, this is a time for a turnaround. This is what I'm sharing, turnaround, what you want to see. What have you brought to God when I ask you to think of the areas that you wanted a turnaround? Right? What have you brought to God that you want a turnaround in your lives? Begin to receive it. Know that God has heard you. God has heard you. God has answered, already answered your prayer. The word of God said, by his stripe, by his stripe you are healed. Anybody here with, with any pain in your body, the word of God says, by his stripe you are healed. The word of God, those who they, they are experiencing lack, the word of God says, all, 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 all your needs are met. And where is met? In Christ Jesus. So all our needs are met. Whatever is happening with you, all our needs are met in Christ Jesus. So let's decree and declare some things over our lives. I decree and declare over my life that Lord Jesus Christ will turn around all areas that I am held captive I am held captive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And if you have been held captive, one of the biggest things for us is fear. So if you know that fear is where you are held captive, begin to declare the word of God says, 
all things she's going to turn around thing so begin to decree it in your life i decree and declare over your life i put a hand over your head and be begin to decree and declare over the, your life that the lord jesus has turned things around he has turned things in all areas he has turned things around in all areas he has turned things 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 in all areas he has already done it. He has already done it. Begin to declare it. Begin to declare it over your life, brothers and sisters. Begin to declare it over your life. Begin to declare it. Begin to declare it. Begin to declare it. Open your mouth. You know where the enemy has held you captive. Begin to declare it right now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare it. Begin to see 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 it. Begin to declare it. Begin to see it. Begin to see it. Begin to see it. Begin to see it. He has already done 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 it. Begin to see 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 it. Begin to Let's dec uh, that's another one. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Put your hand over your head. You are you are speaking. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Over my life. Over my life. That God will turn. That God will turn. All things are wrong. All things around for my good, for my good in Jesus' name. In Jesus' so name, so begin to pray. Pray the scripture and pray point. We pray over your life. God is turning things around for your good. God is turning things in your heart, in your home. God is turning things around in your body. God is turning things around in your family. God is turning things around. God is turning things around. God is turning things around in your family, in your heart. In your house, in your house, declare it by the name of God. God is turning it around. God is turning it around for your good. It's for your good. He is turning it around. 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 For your good. 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 For your glory, for your glory. We cut a pile of wood to stick it. In Brazza, Baba, Baba, Yara, Baba, Shata. It a post a katapaka. Amen. Amen. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Now the Lord will overturn. The Lord will overturn. He will overturn. He will overturn. He will overturn. He will overturn all satanic mandates. All satanic mandates and verdicts. And verdicts over my life. Over my life. My family. My family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Did you hear what you prayed? Amen. The Lord will overturn. Amen. Overturn. Amen. Overturn. Amen. All satanic mandate. Yes. So all the plans of the enemy. Yes. God has already overturned it. Yeah, all the plans Rapa. of the enemy. God has already overturned it. He has overturned what happened in your body, what happened in your home, what happened in your family. He has already been overturned. You get put your hand on your head and be clear. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Every man and woman that the enemy has said over my life, God has already overturned. Receive it, my brothers and sisters. He has already overturned. He has already overturned. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Believe, believe. Yes, Father, overturn. I don't know who, we have a few doubters. You are doubting the word of God. Because of your past. Because you have prayed for several things and you have not seen the answer. And God is saying, remove doubt. I don't know who you are, 
But God is saying, if he said it in his word, if he said it in his word, he is able to fulfill it. Yes, I know you are seeing things in your, in your life. Many of you are hurting, and how could God allow me to, do, to go through this, whatever, whatever. But God is turning things around. He is turning. He, he, I have many other scriptures. He, has, he did it in the word of God, and he will do it for us. Hello, and he, hello, he, not he will do it. He has already done it. He have already done it. Amen. He have already done it. Amen. Brothers and sisters, he have already done it. But we, yes, God is going, it's going to manifest. There are things happening in my life, and I say, Lord, why allow me to go through it? And I know I thank God. Now I thank God because it has strengthened me. Yeah. Right? But when I was going through it, I used to cry. Right? I used to put the pillow over my head and cry. Lord, why are you allowing me to go through? But when I look back now, where God has brought me from, what he has turned things around, he has turned things around, begin to turn around, begin to see the turn around, begin, don't look at what is happening at home. Don't look at what is happening at home. Let's declare. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Over my life. Over my life. That every water of life. That every water of life. That wants to overwhelm me. That wants to overwhelm me. And my family. And my family. Will begin to decrease. Will begin to decrease. And dry up. And dry up. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Remember the what dried up. Think of what dried up. We, just, we had the script here. And we are declaring and we are decreeing and declaring. What is overwhelming you at this time? What is overwhelming you at this time? What is overwhelming your, you and your family? But just as, as God dried up, just as God dried up every water in your life that wants to overwhelm you, God has already dried it up. Amen. He, he has already dried up. I don't know what is happening in your life. I, you know, I, if you know me, I, always, my, I have plenty of um, prayer points. But when I was looking at this, God is saying that we're holding on to the water. And he has already dried up. He has already dried it up. What, what happened with the, in the Old Testament? What did he dry up? He dried up the... The path that they had to, to cross, whatever path that you have to go through, know that God has already dried it up. Amen. So when you are going through, you're not walking on water. You are walking on solid ground. Remember you are walking on solid ground. He has dried up the water. He has dried up your tears. He has dried up your tears. He has dried up your tears. Amen. Let it go, my brothers and sisters. He has already done it. He has taken you into a path that is dry land. You can walk. You will not sink. Many, there are few of you feel that you can't take, take more than what is happening. But in your life, what God is saying, I'm taking you through the path. It looked like a red sea. It looked like water. It looked like water. You feel you're going to sink. But God has turned it into a dry land. So even though he has taken you through, you will not sink. You will not sink. I don't know who it is that feels that you are sinking. But God is saying you will not sink. Amen. Your path has a solid ground. Amen. He is solid ground. He has taken you through that path. Amen. And you have to see, even though you see water, like uh, most of us in train, you know drain. Most of some of us are draining our in our yard, and when rainy season, some of our drain overflow. And if you have drain like me, I can't cross it over. I have to either make the wrongs, but God is saying to me, He have already dry up that drain, yeah. and the drain could represent different thing in our life, but He has already dry, dried it up. Yeah. Begin to believe that He has already dried it up. Let's, let, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I am moving. I am moving from obscurity. From obscurity into the limelight of life. Into the limelight of life. No evil water. 
No evil water will overwhelm me. Will overwhelm or me. Or stop me. Or stop me from my divine turnaround. From my divine turnaround. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So you are going to declare, God has moved you from you were hidden, right? He has brought you into the limelight. In the limelight, hello. When we say the limelight, for in this, not what the world said. Eh? The limelight re represent Christ's light. So when I say the limelight, I just put the thing. Yeah, it represents Christ's light. So you are no longer in the dark. You are no longer hidden. But you have entered the light of Christ. Amen. You have entered into the light of Christ. Amen. And no evil water will overwhelm you. Amen. Or stop you. Whatever river, whatever you've seen in front of you, it will not stop you. Amen. He will change your water, change your water into solid ground. Amen. Whatever water, whatever is happening, he has already changed it, my brothers and sisters. You are standing on solid ground. Yes, Lord. You are standing on solid ground. There's a song we sing. But you are standing. You have to see where you are standing. It is not water. You will not fall. Ah, okay, Shanta, you will not fall. Begin to see a turnaround taking place yes, in your yes, life. Yes, Begin yes, to yes. see what he see what the word of God says. Yes, yes, Begin yes, to yes, declare yes. what the word of God says. I want you to open your mouth and declare over your life. Oh, what you don't want to see, declare over your life, declare over your life, what you don't want to see, declare over your life, brothers and sisters, what you don't want to see, and all you have to do is to declare over your life, and all you have to do is to declare over your life, and all you have to do is to declare over your life, and all you have to do is to declare over your life, and all you have to do is to declare over your life, and all you have to do God has given you a God has given you a sin eye. See what the word of God says about you. God has opened your eyes. God has opened your eyes. See yes, what Lord, the yes, word Lord, of God yes, says Lord. about you. Don't see your situation. Do not see your situation. Yes, Lord. Do not see your situation. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I prophesy, no, let me just put this over you. I prophesy you will enter your land that is flowing with milk and honey. Amen. I prophesy you will enter your land that is flowing with milk and honey. Amen. And any Pharaoh that want, that want to hold you back, any Pharaoh that want to hold you back, Decree and declare, brothers and sisters, you, are, you have entered a land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. The decree over your life. Put your hand over your head and decree, declare I decree, what I declare. you have entered Lord, land have filled with milk and honey. With milk and honey. Father, and declare, I have entered a land with milk and honey. Father, I have my land with milk and honey. You have entered a land filled with milk and honey. Lord, I have entered my land. I decree, I declare. No Pharaoh, no Pharaoh will hold you back. You are taking me into my land of milk and honey. We declare that no Pharaoh, no Pharaoh, no Pharaoh will hold you back. You have entered a land. You have For you have made me God over Pharaoh. You have entered a land. I am entering my land of milk and honey. In Kapala Bagada, Repeke to Kataya, in Taraba Satusa, Repeke to Ekuta, in Zatala Bogusha, Repeke to Kapala Badaya, Rataka Tapata Tapakata, Repeke to Zatusa Kai, in Rataka Bogusha, in Kapala Ta, in Kapa, in Kapa, enter, 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 Rataka. Ika pale bili, lampra satu saka paya da. Ike dike dike dike. Father, we enter our land of milk and honey. Ika tosha tika prata. Raba baba kusa. Rete kete le dike dike dike. Zaya da baba ba. Ika paya tosa. Yes 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 yes. Ratu zembra sapa kati. Ike dike bala baka dasa. Anta la pusa le pe kapa kapa. Father, we thank you. 
and, and brothers and sisters, milk and honey can represent what you have brought to God. When I ask you to, see, to think about the areas that you wanted to turn around, the milk and honey represent what you brought before God. He has already given it to you. Think of honey. My doctor put, take me off a of sugar and he only put me on honey. And hello, I have been a, a swell time. <laughs> right? Yes, you know, I'm really. But think of honey and you don't, you, hello, you don't, like I will, you know, if I'm making juice or thing, I'll put two, two, three tablespoons of um, sugar. Hello, I just have to put a little touch of honey. And a little touch. Just a little touch, and I'm saying to each one of you, you have entered a land of milk. And hello, the milk, what milk represents. When a mother don't have milk to give her child, what happens? Right? What, what happens? Yes, we run to the um, grocery and we buy the milk, but the mother's milk is the purest. The mother's milk has so many... Um, enzyme, so many things that pr protect the child, and God is a, has allowed us to enter into that time of protection. It is flowing honey. Think of honey. You know what's for a bottle of honey? Nearly two something. And he, we have entered. So all your needs. What I hello? You had to buy the honey. God has already given it to you. Amen. You had to pay two, two twenty-five and two whatever. He has already given you the honey. Amen. And receive it, brothers and sisters. My thing is that when you leave here, I don't want you on a hype. I want you when you leave here, what you have, what you want to turn around in. Know that you have received it. Amen. Right? Yes, you may go home and face situation, but hello, when you go in your house, this is uh, your homework. When you enter a house and you turn your key and you enter, I want you to do a two, seven turn around. Don't just drop your bag, whether you drop it on the floor or wherever. Just drop your bag and begin. You're doing a turn around. We are going to do that just now. And do seven turn around before you go to the toilet. If you need to go to the toilet, hold it in and do the seven turn around. Right? Do the seven. And know that when you do it, why am I asking you to do it in your house? When you do it, you will know. He has already, he has already turned things around. He has already done it. And it's going to manifest. Right? I just have two more. So let's stand. Let's stand. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. You will obtain. I will obtain. Grace and favor. Grace and favor. From the almighty God. From the almighty God. Uncommon. Uncommon. Unprecedented grace. Unprecedented grace. And favor. And favor. Has come upon you. Has come upon me. Know that you have already received grace and favor. Amen. Grace and favor. Amen. Grace and favor has come upon you. Amen. What I want you to do is to put your hand on your head. And you declare and decree. <coughs> grace and favor has come upon my head. The anointing, the anointing of grace and favor is upon your head. Decree and declare grace and favor. Grace and favor, whatever it represents, grace and, fa and favor has come upon you. Grace and favor has come upon you. Be begin to decree and declare. Grace and favor has come upon you. Grace and favor has come upon you. Where you were not favored, grace and favor has come upon you. Has come upon you. Grace and favor has come upon you. Grace and favor, the favor of God, the grace of God is upon you. Receive it, brothers and sisters. Receive God's grace and favor. Receive God's grace and favor. Receive God's grace and favor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What do you want to see the remaining months of the year? What it is that you want to see. We, I have, we have prayed. 
have asked you, what are the turnarounds that you want to see? What do you want to see before the year end? What do you want to see? You have presented what you want to see before God. When I ask you to think about the areas you want to turn around. So the, my last prayer point. We decree and declare. I decree and declare. The remaining months of this year. The remaining months of this year. I shall experience. I shall experience. A divine turnaround. A divine turnaround. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Begin to declare it. The remaining Father, months of this I year. Decree, of this I year. I shall experience my divine turnaround. 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 Lord, I shall have a tail of my son. But I keep it short to the yak, it's short to the yak. Receive it, my brothers and sisters. Receive it, my brothers and sisters. Receive it, receive it. Atala yeke peshon to la yeke petala. Receive it, receive it. Akashanta la yeke. Receive it, what it is. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, my brothers and sisters. Receive it, receive it. It is already given to you. It is in the palm of your hand. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I want you to separate from persons. You can use the come in the in the part. Just separate. And I want you to stand. My sister, Sister Gibbs, God has already given you a turn around in your body. Amen. Right? And I want you to do. You have brought areas that you want to turn around. What I want you to do, you may not be able to stay in the chair to do what I'm, what I'm requesting. You could go in the back. I want you to, to come out from the chair. Right? What I want you to do, those are the turnaround that you want in your life that you brought before God. You are going to do seven turnaround. Whatever you brought before God, know that God has heard you. We are just doing the action. We are just fulfilling the, the action. You have already seen it. God has already given it to you. I am just closing with this. Seven turn around. What you want to see, what you have brought before God, what you have already seen, see it in front of your eyes. So begin to declare as you make your seven turn around. Ake shon tala ye ke pe shon tola ye ke pe shon tola ye. Atala ye ke shon tola ye ke shon tola ye ke pe tola la. Atala ye ke shon ye la la me shon tola ye ke shon. Atala ye ke shon tola ye ke shon tola ye me no lo. Atala ye ke shon ye la la me shon tola ye ke shon. Ashan la 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 me ke shaka ye la la no la ma shon tola ye ke shon tola ye. Atala ye ke God is turning it around for you. God is turning it around for you. God has already turned it around for you. God has already turned it around for you. God has already turned it around for you. He has already done it. He has already done it. Receive it, present sister. Receive it, receive it. He has done it, present sister. He has done it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. So let's spend uh, uh, two minutes and we're going to thank God and praise God. He has already done it.
He has already done it. Amen. He has already done it. Amen. So begin to praise God. Father, Thank we him. praise him. Thank him for the turnaround. Thank you, Lord. We bless your Thank name. You we praise it. your name. Thank you for Hallelujah doing it. Hallelujah to the Lord. Thank you, Father. You are we the praise King your of name, Lord. Lord. You are the Lord. We bless of your name, Lord. Lord. You are the we worship Lord. you, Lord. You are Father, we thank you for doing it. Father, we thank you for answering. We thank you for showing up. We thank you for the turnaround. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We praise you in advance. We praise you. We praise you. We thank you. We bless you. We lift your name. We exalt you, O God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, I want to thank you.